Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play Knuckles Chaotix for the Sega 32X. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I've never really gotten far with this game, I found it very weird. It has some mechanics of the Sonic game, though very different in a sense. Very complicated, so I probably won't be able to 100% it to like, get all the Chaos Rings. But I'll do my best to actually debut some new Sega characters like Vector the Crocodile, Espio the Chameleon, Mighty the Armadillo, and Charmy B. Yeah, it's pretty much like uh, have two people going at once. Okay, I'll go with the scenario quest, of course. And let's see, I'll go with the I'll go with a new file. Save mode set to automatic. Okay, you gotta jump with the C button apparently, and Knuckles holds like a very special ring. More on that later. But first let's just go through this standard level of course. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails, none of them are in this game. Oh, it's Dr. Eggman! I'll save the SBO. Apparently Dr. Robotnik was trying to trap us. Oh, Metal Sonic! Apparently, Metal Sonic and Dr. Robotnik are the antagonists in this game. Alright, what's this? Okay, we got ourselves a little tutorial. Press A button to call your partner. You can do that, but I think it costs you 10 rings to do so. Press B button to release your partner and release the throw, okay to hold your partner. There we go. You'll need that for later. Let's see button to jump. Explain that. Trust me, you will have to go through the tutorial at least once because it gets complicated. Charge the ring power. Hold D pad and release the B button. That allows you to get a very good speed burst. Let's do it again, of course. B button, press right, charge your ring power. When you see the sparkles get pink or red, that's when you let go. Just try by yourself, you know, I was already doing that. But then again, you were getting an explanation. There. Press start, you want to go to the next lesson. Hold B button, press left. This time you gotta do something new. Okay, now, the thing about this, I've had a lot of trouble with this tutorial lesson. Basically what you gotta do, hold the B button, press left, charge the ring power, release the D-pad, and as soon as you get to SBO, hold right, and then release B. There, that's how you do it. There go. And of course we gotta do this again. The reason I've been doing it wrong all this time because I was never hitting right, like it was just messing up. Stand right next to your partner, press B to pick him up. Press desired direction on the D-pad. And there's the B button to throw. Well, that's an interesting technique. Oh, this is a hold B. There. You're gonna need that throw in case, in case you gotta like leap up to a high area. You can't get up there with a jump. Just throw your partner up there and you should be able to get up there. Redundant sentence is redundant, I know. Like that, see? I mean normally you'll be able to get up some cliffs. But this one's a little bit too high for a demonstration. Press down, charge the ring power, jump up. That allows you to get up the cliffs if you're unable to get up there yourself. Pretty neat, huh? Don't worry, this tutorial isn't too long. But you will have to learn all of these techniques. 
This little technique allows you to make your partner jump up if he's the one that's actually below. There. That gets him up there to your level. Oh good, that's all the lessons. We can finally move on and put these lessons to good use. Yeah, bird! I mean, trust me, this gets very complicated if you're not that familiar with the controls. Okay, here's a little something. No, no, I did not mean to do that. Hold SBO over here. Put knuckles over here. There. That's a pressure switch. Perfect. I think we got past the first part. And there's more. Whoops. Yeah, I'll give those a boost. Yeah, I'll go this way. I don't think it matters where this is. Basically a tutorial level. I think there was one enemy there, but no matter. He dodged it. There. Old B, of course. Okay, that's not gonna help much because he's sticking to the wall. I do a normal dash, of course. Remember, there's multiple ways to skin a cat, just go with the one that's more comfortable for you. Don't get surprised if you get messed up on some cards that happen to me. There we go. Oh yeah, of course Knuckles can climb the wall, just hit jump right next to it. And glide too. Then again, if you played Sonic 3, you already know that. Especially Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Most of the controls are the same from that game. So, throw you up. There we go. Oh, on your platform. Perfect. Whoops. I'm not getting up there. Oh, that obviously did not work. How the hell just flying? That would make a lot more sense. Woo! Oh, there's still more. Not much left, I think this is the last card. Just gotta keep climbing and hitting the right. There we go. Let's just keep going, man. I think there's only like six chaos rings in the game. I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna get every single one of them. But if I do, that's good. If I don't, well, I'm just gonna miss out on the best ending, that's all. You don't unlock super knuckles or anything. Well, while we're at it, might as well do one bonus stage. This is how you get them. Let's see, four blue spears I gotta get. Make sure you grab every single blue spear you see. The more rings you get, the more time you get. Oops, missed one. 
The good news is, it isn't just four blue spears here. There's actually more. But I would heavily advise you get every single one you see. I hope I didn't screw this up. Nope, not necessarily. There's one more. I mean, the next leg of it doesn't carry over the blue spears. So if you grab six, and the next card says grab four, regardless if you grab four, first time or six, you still gotta grab four for the second card. Keep that in mind. Just so you don't get too cocky. Ah, damn. Oh! Ah, damn. Just be careful, otherwise you just get bounced back if you hit those star things. They're bumpers. There we go. Now I should be able to get the first Chaos Ring. Perfect, I want it! There we go. I believe you gotta get like 50 to to get a chaos chance for a chaos ring. Okay, of course I'm gonna need knuckles. If you wanna hit if you wanna like leave the game anytime, just go over hit exit. If you wanna play, well just go to play. And I'll save that for the next part because I'm out of time. Stay tuned for the next parts when we actually begin the first actual level of Knuckles Chaotix. There's five levels and you can choose from any one of them. See ya everyone.